Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. For this video, I will be giving my Elsa doll a makeover. So as always, I will be taking my acetone or nail polish remover and we're going to be removing the factory paint so we can have a clean base. And then using my watercolor pencils, acrylic paint, and also pastels, we will be giving her a new face. So this is actually my only Elsa doll in her original outfit when it was re-released. Because before the movie came out, when they had the Frozen dolls, I didn't really get them because... For me, I want to get the dolls that I love and, you know, I wanted to watch the movie first before actually purchasing the dolls. And right after I watched the movie, all of the dolls sold out and so I had to wait, I think, a year after or something crazy of a time frame to actually get the Frozen dolls again. And now they are in stores in general. <laughs> So this will be a throwback to a Disney favorite of ours. I've just been craving anything ice and snow related, so that's why I've been doing the Jack Frost and now we have Elsa. So I have this Elsa and I also have Anna and they're both in the box for such a long time and because I needed Elsa in her original outfit, I decided to debox her and give her a makeover. <laughs> I just want to give her a more glamorous look and also more details. One thing that I noticed is that Disney dolls are very very similar to Ever After High dolls when you repaint them because all of the features are heavily sculpted. Literally the eye mold is molded, the smile is permanent, so there's not a lot of deviation that you can do to kind of change up the shapes and the sizes and expressions. You can only do so much. But I was lucky that my initial style is always just a very heavy cat eye and I just use a black eyeliner to change up the shape of the eyes. And again, we will be giving her freckles. I don't know why they only gave the Anna doll the freckles, when in the movie you can literally tell that Elsa has beautiful freckles all over her face, even their shoulders. So I will be giving her back her freckles. And for her cash lights, I wanted to look like snowflakes to reflect when she was building her castle and singing Let it go! Let it go! Okay. <laughs> so what do you guys think is your favorite moment or event or memory that happened in 2017? I know there's a lot of chaos that happened, but at the same time, there was also a lot of fun and happiness and love that also happened. So if you guys have any great memories and happy memories, go ahead and please share down below in the comment section and I would love to read all of them. I think some of my favorite moments this year was going to DragCon. I met so many people and I also met some of my queens that I loved. I really want to go to the next one and hopefully I can. Um, I also started my Silkstone collection this year. I went from one and now I have like 10 of them I think. Also because my friends also gave me some for my birthday and also Christmas. Um, going to New York was amazing for my friend's wedding. Also some of my YouTube videos blew up. I didn't anticipate my Starbucks mermaid to hit millions. I didn't anticipate my rarity doll to hit millions. So those were amazing as well. And those were like some of the greatest highlights of my year. But obviously I couldn't do any of those without you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you guys so much for the full support. And I am so excited for upcoming projects for the next year. And I hope you guys are there to witness all of them. <laughs> So after glossing her eyes and also her eyeshadow and lips, we are just doing some finishing touches and we will be moving on to her hair. 
So I'm actually going to razor cut her hair and give her more layers. As you can see in the movie, her hair is very thin and it goes into like really thin braid. And I really hated how her braid was so thick and just not realistic with the movie. So over here, I'm just thinning out her hair and giving her more layers than she did. I really hate it when the dolls are supposed to have pointy hair to the ends, but they have like such a blunt cut because they use scissors. So I'm just using my eyebrow razor and I'm just razoring, razoring, <laughs> is that a word? And I'm just thinning everything out to make them pointier when we style it. And now we're gonna give her the side braid and I wanna make sure that the ends of the braid is thinner than the base of them. And I also wanna make it look a little more distressed and not as perfect. And that's why we razored it as well because then you'll have uneven pieces and that's personally how I like it. <laughs> And I just wanted to add a little something something over here. So I'm just adding glitter all over her braid and also the base of her hair. 